Lizzie, and I'm going to show you what it's like to have a cardiorespiratory sleep study. Okay, let's go. We're obviously here to show people what it's like for children who come for a sleep study. So, why would anyone need a sleep study? Quite a number of children might have problems with the way they're sleeping at night. They might not be sleeping very well, they might not be feeling very great after they've had a night's sleep. And so what we can do with a sleep study is find out what's happening with their breathing at night and what's happening with their sleep at night and try and work out what's going wrong so that we can work out how to help them. Hi Lizzie, I'm Andrew. I'm we're going to show everyone how we do the actual sleep test itself because I understand that you've met the nurse and they've shown you how to do the height and weight and you've met the doctor and they've gone through the checking that you're okay and there's no coughs and colds that would affect the test and now I'm going to get the equipment to show you how we do the test itself. So what I'll do then is if you have to get changed and ready for a sleep I'll go and get all the equipment and we can then set it all up. Okay. Ah, thank you. I see you're ready for bed, so if it's okay when we're doing the test, you need to have the phone off because your phone will stop you getting sleep and also could disturb the study. Same goes for you and Grandpa as well. No, no telephones, please. These sensors are not going to do anything sore, and a lot of them are just based on sticky tapes. You're not allergic to any sticky tape or adhesives, are you? No, I'm fine. Fantastic. We're going to put on about eight or nine sensors, which are going to help us to see what your breathing does. Well, we don't want this to fall off, so I'm going to put a wee bit of sticky tape over the top. Okay. Is there anything you'd want to ask about the test? Does it hurt? Good question. It doesn't hurt because actually, if we put stuff on that would hurt, do you think any of the boys and girls would sleep? No. No, so actually all the things that we do just sit there and watch, it just feels a bit funny because it's not what you normally do when you're in bed. Okay, so the next one, so I'm going to pop on is just to help us see if you snore. So this is like a little microphone and what we do is we put it on the side of the neck and it picks up the vibrations. Okay, so for this one, we're going to use a little bit of sticky tape to make sure it stays on. So I'm afraid you're going to get a little bit of a moustache for tonight. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of sticky tape on. And we've got a great magic rock that we'll use in the morning to get them off, so don't be pulling them off. Alright, so here's the first one. It's quite a soft one. It just feels tickly because it was next to the, the hairs in your nose. So this is the one which does the temperature sensor just sits on top of the one you've got there actually and it's got one for your nose, or two for your nose actually one that just sits a wee bit lower next to your mouth but it shouldn't go in your mouth So these two are going to round, one round your chest and one round your tummy so when you breathe these bands are going to move back and forward This one's just the, the oxygen probe, I don't know if you've seen one of these before, it has a little red light on your finger and what it does is it tells us what your oxygen levels do during the night because they can change if your breathing changes also. So let me just plug these in and we'll get you sorted. This, essentially before that's the one that helps us pick up your snoring, that's a vibration one, it picks up the buzz that you say your neck. What we also have is a microphone and a camera and that camera, the sound will help us work out what's going to do. Sometimes this, the noise or the pitch of you, of you when you're sleeping can help us work out what's going on. So your job now is just to have a, a little snooze for us. How does that feel okay? Yeah. Yeah, not too bad? Is, is it what you thought it would be? Um, yeah. I mean, there was more, but it feels just like, it doesn't feel like there's loads of things stuck to me. So you'll be able to sleep with that one, you think? Yeah. Fantastic. There's one extra sense that I need to put on. Now that one actually goes in your ears. Now this is a slightly funny one because it works by warming the skin up a little bit so it'll feel a wee bit strange when I put it on. I feel warm? Yeah. Yeah, but not too hot? Not too hot, no. So that's us finished with the actual setup part and if this was a normal test and you're staying overnight what we do is we get you to settle down we get the bed out from mum or dad or grandpa just to put that next to you and then we put the lights out and start the test. Okay, Lizzie, that's us covered all the bits that we do for a sleep study. Is there anything you want to ask about no. a sleep study? No, I'm okay. Thank you so much for helping me show everyone what it would be like to have a sleep study. Not a problem, right? Why don't we just get all the sensors off? I'll use my little rod so it's not sticky or sore when we take them off, it'll all just fall off. Here we go. Okay. 